Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will create something new. I will show you how you can uh, create some, uh, for example, classical things like Islamic facade in Revit. So uh, today we will create this column. So we have, as you know, in Revit like thousands ways how we can create one object, but I will show you one of that way. So it's not easy uh, way, it's not uh, best way, it's just this way. So let's get started. So this is my, uh, I already opened new Revit, so let's create the new document. Today we will create a lot of different families. Uh, so here is my, uh, the project, and we will create now family. So first thing first, we will go to the file, again new, and here I will find conceptual mess. So let's, let's use the metric conceptual mess. Here we are. And f first thing what I will do, I will create the my first cycle. Let's create it uh, from the middle like this. Mm, I want control it, so that's why I need this dimension and this radius. I will create like radius column. Uh, sorry, radius column. Let's say OK. And now I want uh, explode it, so like this. Now I want to control the height of this uh, column. Also, let's create the higher column. Let's say OK. Now let's change it under the properties. Here I want like three meters height and the radius I want like 150, it will be enough, I think. Let's say OK and you see I get this problem. So what I gonna do? Just I click on the one, uh, one of this part and lock the profiles. So if I will change it now, so let's change it 150. It will change everywhere. This is cool. Uh, let's go back and we will make 1 to 10. And I want to put it uh, exactly on the middle. So uh, let's click, double click on this, uh, on this side. And you can see this is my profile. Let's go to the level. Select your profile and mark center mark. Now I will use command align and I will align my cycle here and I will say OK. Now everything OK. If you will see exactly on the middle and we can control this column. So uh, now we should create uh, something like uh, the bottom side, uh, something like more interesting things. So let's. So for this stage, uh, I will go to the again to the file and I will create the metric generic model. Let's go to the uh, families and we will find metric generic model. Where is it? Uh, metric generic model. This is here. So let's go inside this document. Uh, now I want to go to the back side. So uh, now we need uh, some reference plane. Let's create one reference plane. I think, yeah, we need only one reference plane. So this is our level and this is our reference plane. This is our reference plane. Yes. So I will hide level. And now I have only uh, two, two uh, reference line. Uh, first I want uh, dimension. Let's create dimension here. I will change to 1 to 10. This is, will be enough. Even uh, 1 to 5. I mean scale and we will create the first parameter first parameter will be like height of the bottom column um, po -po -po, Let's leave it. Let's leave it uh, Instance so oh, I mean the type so let's do it like this and I will change it for example to the hundred Let's check it out. So everything working as you see. Okay, so the next thing what I gonna do I will go to the create and I will use the revolve uh, okay, so for that part, I need to create uh, like something like that thing, something like that one. Let's do here one more. And here I will do this thing like that. Okay, so uh, awesome. And what I'm gonna do now, actually, I need three dimensions here. Mm, uh, first, I will create the axis. Here will be axis. Uh, now I will use dimension. Oh, sorry. Uh, we will create the radius first. So radius uh, air bottom column. Uh, 
and let's make it uh, type 2 so this is type okay okay everything okay seems uh, this one I want to connect to this line and lock it and that one I want to connect to that line okay lock it so what I'm gonna do next uh, let's say okay and let's test it first uh, for example my radius is 50 I want to change to the hundred apply so it's changing everything okay but we have no problem it's okay uh, so um, how the my radius will be the my radius it will be equal this uh, divide by 2 so high divide by 2 apply so if I will change my height to the 150 my radius will straight away will change so this is what I want okay this is cool so let's leave it to the 100 okay so and now we need create one more parametrical thing for that uh, for that uh, part of our column this thing I want a uh, control extend my uh, before I mean the, this part before I'm going to the radius so what does mean uh, let's go to the uh, change our um, uh, sketch uh, and we will create the new parameter here so and I will say this is will be uh, L uh, basement column let's leave it also type 1 so let's do like this and now I will say ok and let's test it first I want for example not for not 85 I want let's say 100 let's try it so this is working 120 yeah also working and now I want connect to the radius let's say uh, if I have the radius 50 uh, my um, extent should be like this plus 8 B C divide by 3 so let's see so yeah this is what I want uh, so why I did it because I want like two types of that things that thing so uh, let's create the types uh, this will be first type this we will call the big one and now I want small one uh, I will change for example to the mm, let's say 50 so what we will get let's check it oh yes this is what I want and this one will be small so we have two different parts with one model so we no one has create like different models uh, so let's load it inside to the our project not project sorry to the our family so here is our family and here is my cycle uh, let's put somewhere first and I will change the mod to the warframe because I want to see what's going on here and as you can see this is because this is a circle uh, we, can, we cannot see uh, exactly our uh, form of that if I only in shaded mod anyway let's go to the uh, first level and now we will place on the right place let's use it align and we can align as you can see and let's lock it and let's again align and again lock it now I will go to 3d uh, let's go to 3d first I want to check it where is it uh -huh, this is here and as you can see the big this is a big one so this is my model and I want only one more model so where is it with here is my model okay and let's see the type this is big one and big one it's small one <laughs> let's change to 250 so it will be yes this is what I want so let's do like this and as you can see one part we already under finish let's uh, apply one more one more this thing so I will change to the 220 uh, let's copy it I want a line <laughs> I cannot align this uh, bottom side uh, mm, what I can do I can make offset actually let's align this one to that one and I will offset uh, say 50 500 so 500 is too much 250 will be enough yes and I'll change this type 
to the small one and small one will be 150 so let's do it so we under finish as you can see no actually not so we have uh, a lot of things to do but we did one part already so this is cool uh so we can copy it to the uh that side or yeah we can copy why not uh i will go to the east mo mode again i will use that one things and i will just use the mirror so let's use the mirror somewhere here Oh, we cannot use the mirror. Anyway, we can copy it. I will just copy. Because this is unique object, you no need to make this uh, fully parametric. Because this is, again, only unique uh, unique thing. So you will have like one or three or all same things. So that's why don't uh, create like a uh, fully parametric thing because uh, you will use it only once. So here we are, and now we will work with column. Anyway, we can change these parts. As you can see, it's parametric. You have the uh, some uh, some parametric here. You can change it, whatever. And now we will create some most interesting thing here. So for that one, um, I I will go to the 3D, and I will hide uh, these two things. I will hide these two things, so I don't need it right now. And what I'm gonna do, I will select that things and I will create a divide by surface. It's too much actually. So uh, let's divide it by five, I think. Let's try. So five, yes, enough. By let's do the five same. So five by five. And the other side also five by, by five. We need to create our, um, our network. So as you can see. Uh, so what we're gonna do now actually we need one more family. Yes guys. Sorry. We need a lot of families today Let's go to the new family and now we need metric generic adaptive uh, Adaptive model this one. Let's open up and We will create like five dots because we created like f you will see why five one two three four five So five dots as you can see and let's make it adaptive. Make sure your uh, dots going like one by one. One, two, three, four. Not like one, five, four, three, you know, or something like that. Just right, uh, right place. So let's create the spline. Uh, pop, pop, pop. So I will do like this. Maybe is it reference line better? Just let 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 me think. So I will use actually the spline. Let's use this plan. Yes one two three four five and as you can see we have on the spline own uh working uh, working plane now we should use the model the cycle and after that set the working plane i want to set this working plane and let's create the this thing it also will be parametric let's make it radius just reduce column uh, let's say thing <laughs> uh, let's make it instance okay so and now I will change it to the hundred only and now select this thing and that thing and let's create and as you can see we get this one don't forget guys you should lock one profile if we will change now radius our profile not will changed so you, as you can see so let's load it inside our family oh yes our family family one I think oh no oh yes I forgot which one this is family one right uh, let's say check yeah it's already here as you can see and as you can see it's a bit bigger than I want so maybe let's make it 50 millimeters only so this is what I want. So how we can place into the our column? Actually easy. Just select one part of the, your column. Here the small bottom display properties and nodes. And let's make the same thing with the other part. Nodes. Okay, let's start. So what we're gonna do now? You're asking me why we did five actually. So we did it because one, two, three, four, and five ways <laughs> as you can see i did it wrong it's not five uh it's not five actually here so let's check it out actually it's five 
but why it's not oh actually i forgot one thing look one two three four five six so we should make here the four yeah and the other part also four so overall it will be five but uh it's not calculating the bottom side again component this component let's change this component to the 50 for now it will be more than enough and let's start one two three as you can see i'm doing just pass one to the other side and like this so now you just can uh, you just should continue like uh, to hold this uh, thing so i will do it fast but uh, i will show you one more time as you can see i doing just one by one one two three four five and just continue So we are finished and as you can see we have some small gaps here but what we can do we can go to the properties and here we will find reduce the column so let's change to the 150 let's say okay and ta -da, we get what we want uh, so let's unhide everything just like this reset temporary and we get our column so now you can make some touches like I did right now. You just can make small this central part and uh, like increase the, that part. You can uh, put some materials if you want. So you can do whatever you want. Actually, after you will finish, you can load insights to your project. You even can uh, make some uh, parametric things. For example, if you're changing the column height, we'll change the warframe where we placed our generic models so it's only already up to you i just show you the way how you can create this thing so let's place insights to the our mm, to the, our project let's go to 3d our project i will change the mods to the constraint which one to the shaded one and as you can see here is our model uh, i didn't join it so because i need to join it so let's make it i mean what i mean Let's go back to the here and we need to join our column between each other thing like this. So you should join it. After that, you not will have like uh, some parts inside of your column. Of course, you need some materials here because if you don't have any materials, you will uh, get the result as you can see here. Uh, actually, it's we have the materials here, but it's um, I think this is transparent. Let's check it out materials air oh my god i have here a lot of materials so let's let's i'll purge it and i need this all materials and i'll check the material uh which material i'm using right now i don't know but i think this is that that one anyway 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 Anyway, I can change material like this. Modify that one and let's make aluminum. Yeah, this is material only. So you should apply normal material, not, not like I did and everything will be okay. So guys, I think that's it. Uh, now you know how to create the result of, for example, this column. Uh, you know the way, how one of the way how to create it. And I think it will be for useful for you. Uh, because uh, about the network, when you're using the network, it can be flexible. When you are changing your height of the column, your network will also change. So that's why uh, I choose this way. Maybe you will uh, choose the other way. Anyway. Thank you for watching and see you next time. To support my channel, you can go to Gumroad, check that my store. There you can find bottle of this Dynamo script or you can buy two story complete house or even the two story residential classic house. By this way, you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.